I'm here today with a tutorial for this I look here. I asked you guys on Instagram if you what kind of videos you wanted to see and I'm not surprised but an overwhelming amount of you said a tutorial with the Tati Beauty palette. I had been posting on Instagram stories a lot of looks I had been using with it. I used this for about a week straight now and I really love this palette. When I first got it I was a little unsure about the oranges and the pinks because I'm like, those are really intense. Like this color and this color, well, these two and these two, I'm like, those are pretty like bold oranges and a bold like pinky cranberry color. I don't know if I'm really gonna use those. And the more that I played with it, the more I actually really started to love them because while they are really bold, they are, um, you can build them up to be intensity, like a higher intensity, or you can really apply them lightly and they just blend out so beautifully. Finn sees a reflection of the light and he's going bonkers. Come here, Finn. I've been really enjoying this today. I did a glittery look. I have used almost every color in this palette. The only colors I have not used yet is um, these two. I've used this one once but I haven't used these two or this color yet. Those are the only ones I haven't used. Um, but other than that, I have played with every other color in this palette and I really love it. I think it's a very, um, I think it's a very user-friendly palette. The shadows blend themselves. They are absolutely beautiful. So you guys will see in the tutorial just how um, buttery, creamy, blendable these are and they're so beautiful. So congratulations Tati, what an awesome palette. You can tell she put a lot of thought and hard work into this and I'm excited to see what else she comes out with. I will definitely um, support and buy the next product that comes out because I do really love Tati. I've met her once or twice and I just think that she puts out, she's gonna put out great quality product. Without further ado, if you want to see how I got this eye look, stay tuned. If you are new, welcome. My name is Cassie. I hope you enjoyed this video and you decided to stay alive by hitting that subscribe button. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that notification bell. That way you're notified of any new videos that come out. I've been pretty good at sticking to my Tuesday, Thursday upload schedule. And so, yeah, fingers crossed that we just keep rolling with that schedule. It seems to be working out pretty well. So thank you guys so much for watching and let's get into the tutorial. Okay. It is like not even 6 a.m. yet and it's early. We're gonna get this muted. Oh my gosh, usually I get ready at six in the morning, but daylight savings, man, it's just done a number on me. So I've been getting up at like 5, 5.30. So um, we are just gonna do this today and I may be a little bit asleep, but that is what happens when you try to film a video first thing in the morning before like the sun is up, okay? So I had so many requests to do a Tati video. So I thought, well, I better do a Tati video. I better make sure that this microphone is on, good. So I asked on Instagram what video you guys were like really wanting to see. And the number one video was the Tati tutorial. And every time I've posted a look, I used this palette, I've used it for a week now. Um, and every time I used it, I think I used it for a week straight and every day on Instagram, I would show like my look that I came up with and I really like it. Um, when I first got the palette, I was like, oh, those oranges are like real orange and the pink is like real pink. I don't know if I'll use them. And I found a way that I really actually love them and I'm glad they're in the palette. Um, primer, I used this primer. I talked about this in my favorites video. It's the... Pro Revolution Eye Elements Primer in Central. It's very similar to Mac Perlin Paint Pot, so if you were wanting something like that and you didn't necessarily want to spend the money on Mac, Makeup Revolution is pretty dang cheap. And I really like that one. I also have Core, which is the one that's similar to Soft Ochre. And here's the Tati palette. It's so beautiful. I know that she's doing pre-orders. It has a giant mirror, which is great. And then these are the shadows. I'm sure you guys have already seen this. Um, they're basically like the same shade, but in four different finishes, which I think is really cool. I haven't seen any other brand do anything like that. I'm gonna start out and take the color um, Aura and Aura Matte, and I'm gonna pop that on my brow bone. This is a super pigmented 
light cream shade. It has a little bit of like a pink um, undertone to it, but I love it because you guys know I always use a matte light shade for my brow bone and a lot of palettes like don't have, you know, a transition that I love or that works for my skin tone, a brow bone and then like a darker color for like liner or to darken up your out of V. This has it all, which I appreciate because you don't need to bring in other palettes. Um, for, now this brush is my favorite, like all over blendy brush. It's the Jaclyn Hill Morphe JH30. I use this every day, it's my all time favorite. And I'm gonna go into the Soothe Matte, which is the light tan color. And you will get a little bit of kick up on the pan, but that honestly doesn't bother me. I feel like very few shadows do I not get kick up. And I'm just gonna do probably one of the looks that I did the other day, um, just cause I'm so tired right now. <laughs> And my creativity is just um, not there. I had like the weirdest dream. I don't even know how or why I had this dream, but do you guys know Jamie Page here on YouTube and Instagram? Anyways, I don't even know why I, why she, I had a dream about her, but I had a dream that like I ran into her. I was like on the public bus system. I don't know where, cause it sure as heck wasn't Reading. And I ran into my ex-husband on the bus and I was with Ethan and somebody else, some girl, I don't know who I was. And I was talking to my ex-husband on the bus, but then like somehow Ethan got up and it was like one o'clock in the morning. He like came out of his bedroom, but we were on a bus. I, my dreams literally make no sense sometimes. And then um, Savannah and Cole, What's her last name? Bryant, maybe? I don't I don't remember the last name. But they have the little girl Posey and Everly. They all of a sudden come on the bus. And then we're driving this bus, but like at one point it was like one in the morning, but then it was like daytime, which is weird, okay? And we drove by like all these really cool like outdoor, like kind of look like wedding <clears throat> wedding setups, like couches with like tons of flowers. And we like started driving through like this big like photo op place where habit hand tied hair extensions. <laughs> These are all like Instagram people, this is so funny. They like do all their photo shoots apparently in my dream. And I thought it was like the coolest thing. Well then like Jamie Page comes on the bus and then she's like invited me and I can't remember who was with me. Some girls were with me. Um, to go over to her apartment. And so we go to her apartment and it just looked like from the outside, didn't look like a nice apartment. And then you get inside, see I'm talking and I just keep blending. From the inside, I'm gonna go in with this um, Sedona Lace EB09 brush and a little bit of Story, which is the orange in the matte. Um, she invites us into her apartment for like coffee or something or to eat. And she was like making tons and tons of food and the apartment like didn't look very nice from the outside, but then when you went in, it was like, like a 10,000 square foot house. It was like the most crazy thing I've ever seen. Like it just kept going and going and going and going. So I was like deep in the dream of like walking through her apartment and then my alarm went off. So I was so groggy. That was like the weirdest dream. I tell Ted my dream sometimes and he's like, where did you even come up with that? I'm like, I don't even know. I don't feel like I'm the most like creative person in my awake life. Like, I mean, I guess I'm kind of good at interior decorating and I feel like I'm okay at makeup, but I'm definitely not like artistry talent, but I'm not like creative as far as like musically or crafty, but man, my dreams, they are creative, so I don't know. I didn't even go to bed like looking at any of those people's Instagram profiles last night, isn't that so funny? Oh yeah, so I took that color and this, this the two brushes I use like literally are freaking phenomenal. I love them so much. I will try to remember to link them below. They're so soft and they just, I mean these shadows definitely do blend for you, but these brushes as well are awesome. So that was my dream and that's partly why I'm so tired because I was so deep in um, apparently having a tour of Jamie Page's house while she was like making a freaking smorgasbord of food. 
that I like had a very difficult time waking up. Okay, I'm gonna take Poet in the matte shade. And you don't need much, okay? I like barely dipped it. And then I'm taking that on this outer part here and bringing it in. Now, a lot of people are noticing that I changed my channel name. It's still like at Shades of Cassie, like if you were to type it into the address bar, but I did change the channel name to just my name. Now, a lot of people are asking like, cause I asked on Instagram if you thought I should change it or if you thought I should keep it the same. And a lot of people said I should keep it the same. And I don't have a problem with that. I just feel like I've outgrown the name. I've been doing this for eight years now. And I just feel like the way YouTube has changed, like it used to be everybody had like a name, you know, like Lester Lux and um, Jam Beauty 89 and, oh gosh, I'm trying to think of who else. Like everybody had a, um, like uh, that Taylor, like we all had different names than like what our first and last name is, which now looking back, I mean, I'm glad I didn't have it as my first and last name because that has changed a few times from being going and being divorced to then being remarried. So I'm definitely not getting divorced or remarried ever again. So I feel safe to change it, but I don't know. I just feel like kind of over shades of Cassie. If you guys know the history of how it came up, um, my used to be ex best friend who's now Ethan's stepmom, um, was the one that actually helped me come up with it when I was first starting my channel. So for a while, like I really struggled with that and was like, um, I don't know. I just don't know if I could keep it. It's just a reminder. And then like somebody made a really good point and they said, you know, she may have like helped you come up with the name but you're the one who made it what it is. And so I've always been like, oh yeah, actually that's true. Now I just feel like I've kind of outgrown it. It doesn't really have any, like, it doesn't have a negative connotation to me anymore or like a negative feel, but I don't know, just I feel like I've kind of outgrown it. Now we're gonna blend that out. See, these are just like so smooth. They really do just like blend themselves. It's crazy just how smooth they are. Okay, we'll get back to the crease in a minute. I need a sip of coffee, okay. I'm gonna take this MAC 217, I'm gonna go in with Ritual, which is that dark, dark brown. And I'm gonna start patting that in this outer corner. I think I need like a hand mirror because my mirror is just too far away. Oh, that's a little better. This is so pigmented. I've tried this color all over my lid to this dark chocolate brown and it's so pretty. It makes like for the prettiest smoky eye. And then you just blend lightly around the edges with Soothe. And it is phenomenal. So I'm just tapping this on the outer third of my lid. See, I never do tutorials. Like I kind of stopped doing tutorials because I feel like nobody watches them. Like they get requested, but then they're like my lowest watched videos, which is sad because I feel like, and I hear so many creators talk about that, that like people want tutorials, but then it's their least viewed video. It's the most time consuming to film and edit. And they get the least amount of views which is crazy to me because like that's what the beauty community on YouTube used to be, was like tutorials and it's just changed so much. It's crazy. And I just kind of see how it's on this part of my brush. I'm just putting that and wedging that into my crease. Make sure I'm still in focus for you guys. Now the lighting is definitely different in this video than in most of my videos. <laughs> because it's so early in the morning. I have a ring light in front of me, but I sit in front of two natural light windows and obviously it's like pitch black outside. So I am trying to supplement some light and adjust the settings on my camera to make up for the fact that it is pitch black. My old setup in my old room was different because I had 
no like natural light so all my lighting was just in front of me but this has such great natural light that I'm like of course I'm gonna take advantage of that okay going back in with that EB09 I'm gonna take poet a tiny 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 bit and I'm just going to kind of marry it to the bare space on my lid and this edge Really not necessary considering that we're gonna put glitter on but so I'm gonna take soothe in the metallic and I'm gonna press that on my lid with my finger this is such a pretty color it's like to me it's kind of like a basic bronzy camo color but it's like so perfect because it just looks so pretty and it's effortless, you know? Okay. And again, we don't have to be super precise because we're going over this with glitter. I just like to have a tiny bit of a base under. I've done it without having a metallic under and it works great too. These shadows just are really top notch. They remind me a lot of the Huda Beauty shadows, which you guys know I freaking love the Huda Beauty mattes. That's how I feel about these mattes. I heard somebody the other day said that they didn't like the mats of Huda Beauty and I was like, what? <laughs> They're so good. Um, so I have used this without glitter glue and with glitter glue. Um, I feel like it holds up actually really good without glitter glue, but I am, um, since I have to wear this like all day, I'm going to just put glitter glue on. But you could totally do it without and it holds up awesome. So don't feel like you need to. This is the Too Faced glitter glue. I just like a little extra like assurance, especially since I'm going to be wearing this for a while since it's so early in the morning. Do, do, do. And I don't take it all the way. I just take it basically where we applied that metallic. I go in with the Soothe Glitter. Ooh, ooh, so freaking pretty. The glitter is like so pretty. Now I have to say like I wore the glitter most of the time that I did my eye. I think two, two or three times I didn't, but like four times I did. And my eyes did get a little bit sore by the like fourth day or like by the end of however long I wore it, a week. Um, my eyes did start to get a little bit sore from all the glitter. But I mean, most people probably aren't gonna wear glitter all day long or like every day. I did. And look at that. <laughs> That's like insane how pretty that is. So I'm just gonna wipe away the fallout or any shadow. There's like very minimal fallout with this. Some of the darker shades, sometimes you can get a little bit, but for the most part, there's like very minimal fallout. So I'm gonna take my brush. I didn't put any other product. And I'm just kind of buffing to kind of um, get down any of that glitter that kind of went a little too high because of my fat finger. And then take the brush, this one, and just kind of blend along the sides. Mm, yes, so pretty, so pretty. Now I went a little high with it, but you can just ignore that. Look at that shine. It's just crazy. It's so, so pretty. My liner, and I've been loving, I don't know why I didn't put this in my favorites video that I just put up. Well, it's probably because I recorded that favorites a couple weeks ago. Um, this is the Better Than Sex liner. I really like this. It's kind of fun using liquid liner again because I didn't use it for so long because of my lash extensions. Now I'm back into the liner game. Um, sometimes I'll do a wing, sometimes I won't. I'm just gonna debate if I feel a wing liner today or not. I think I'm gonna skip winged. My Botox is wearing off, and when my Botox wears off, I get like a heavy eye, and liner becomes a challenge. Okay, so I'm going to do my mascara, finish up with the rest of my face, and then I will be back. Finished up with my foundation. I'm like, this is why I don't film this early in the morning. I get too chatty and too distracted. I am taking the color Ritual. I started doing my eyes in the other video and I was like, um, yeah, nope, we can't be doing that. Wrong video. So 
So this is Ritual and I'm just going right along the lash line. If you wanna know what's on the rest of my face, I'm doing um, a review kind of wear test of the Urban Decay Stay Naked. I've worn this many times, but um, a few of you had suggested a, or asked for me to do a review video, so I thought I would. And so I'm being productive and doing two videos in one day. This is a point of crease brush by Makeup Geek. Remember when I used to always use these? And I'm gonna go in with a little bit of strong, no, story. I keep thinking this is strong. Story. And I'm going to buff that on the lower lash line without making a weird face. Now the sequin shadow, I do find I get the sparkle on my lid all day long. It's not obviously as sparkly as this, um, but the sparkle does stay without a glitter glue or anything. Oh, so pretty. Okay. Next, I'm gonna go in with the shade Aura and the metallic. And I'm using just a dry brush and I'm gonna pop that on the inner corner. So pretty. Okay, I'm gonna do my mascara now and we'll kind of look at it all finished. This is the finished look. You guys, this palette is so, so pretty. My lashes are the Ardell 812s, and I love these. I do have to trim a little bit off, but they're like the most pretty, like everyday, natural, but like a little glam lash. Mm, they're so pretty. So I love this palette. I didn't do swatches in this video because I'm sure you guys have seen 1 million thousand swatches. I really, really I think this palette is so great. I think it's a great travel palette. The tones in here, if you were like me and kind of these pink ones and these orange just seem like a little bit scary or a little bit like, oh man, how am I gonna use those? They blend so beautifully. You need a little bit and you just can create so many different looks with this. I love it. I love the glitters, the metallics, the sequins are so pretty. And I just have a lot of fun with this palette. So I'll probably do more tutorials in the future with it, but I wanted to get at least one up because I'd had so many people asking for tutorials every time I posted a picture on Instagram. So did you guys pick this palette up? What do you think? Are you pre-ordering it? Congratulations to Tati for selling out on the first day. I think she said she sold over 100,000 palettes, which is crazy. And now after watching um, the Jeffree Star Shane Dawson documentary that's going out or that's going on right now about like how much you make in makeup, I'm like, oh my gosh, at you know forty eight dollars a palette, hundred thousand palettes, four point eight million dollars in one day. It's just crazy. So, anyways, I love this palette. I can't wait to see what else she comes out with. Um, the palette does, you know, get a little dirty because it is that soft matte, but I believe. Tati had like explained it like, you know, your makeup's gonna get dirty. It's like that really well worn pair of jeans. I actually don't mind if it gets dirt on it or whatever makeup. Um, but I love the palette. I think it's so pretty. Did you guys pick it up? Let me know your thoughts down below. And don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.